Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Molly Matat with another update for you from the Weather Center. We've been talking a lot about space lately. We had that rare lunar eclipse a few months back. We've been talking about being able to see three visible planets in the pre-dawn sky for the past week or so. We've got another cool phenomena for you to keep your eyes on the skies for. We have a pretty good shot tonight and tomorrow of seeing the northern lights. Look at this viewing map courtesy of the Geophysical Institute in Fairbanks, Alaska. That bright band of green, that is where the the aurora borealis is pretty favorable to be seen directly overhead, taking over the night sky. That thin green line to the south that passes through Oklahoma and uh, North Carolina, you have to look to the very northern sky and to the low horizon. So we have a pretty good chance of seeing some beautiful colors here in central New York. Here's what you got to know. This is all along a geomagnetic storm. It has nothing to do with the weather. It has to do with solar winds way out in the atmosphere and in space. That's altering our invisible magnetic field and making us able to see these bright beautiful colors. Now, they will be beautiful, but they will be a bit dim over central New York. You saw in that bright band of green, we were kind of on the outskirts, so it'll look kind of like your screen does. Maybe some bands of green or blue. Not so much like those pictures that you've probably seen online taken in way northern Canada or Iceland close to the pole. We're going to kind of see the tail end of it. Now, are we even going to be able to see this in central New York? Because when cool things like this tend to happen, clouds can take over quickly. The good news, we have a very very quiet stretch of weather ahead. High pressure is taken over. That means most people in central New York will have mainly clear skies, a few passing clouds like you see there. Unless you live to the north in northern Oswego or Jefferson counties, clouds are going to be a little bit more widespread and a little bit more stubborn. So they may block your view a little bit more than you've hoped, but there is good news. This is actually going to be around for two days. Here's what you got to know if you really want to see these lights. They tend to peak after midnight between 12 and 4 a.m. Now space weather is hard to forecast so that can shift by a couple of hours but that's really where you're guaranteed to see at least a few glimpses of color. Also you want to avoid light pollution and when I say light pollution I mean urban lights, like lights from the city, street lights, lights from airports or major buildings. That can affect just how brightly you see the aurora borealis. So you're going to want to go to more rural areas, places with less standing light. If you live near the shore of Lake Ontario, that should be pretty good viewing if you're watching from the southern shore as there's no lights on Lake Ontario. Now, if you have to pick one of the two nights to lose a little bit of sleep, it'll be stronger on Monday than it will be on Tuesday. Still probably visible, but we're looking for more promising colors on Monday. If you get any cool pictures, make sure you send them to us at cnycentral.com. We would love to see them. You can post them to our Facebook page or send them to us via Twitter. Happy hunting.